Hey there, once again, YouTube. So, I hope you guys are having a good 4th of July today. I actually just got finished making a 25-minute video, and I pretty much had to scrap it, guys. I had to pretty much throw away that video I just made and spent some time on. Didn't upload it, though. Um, because we have some breaking news in California, magnitude 6.4 at 8.7 kilometers in depth and the earthquake website was glitching out a lot because there's a lot of people coming on here trying to find out what is going on with this earthquake and I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna tell you what's going on in my opinion of what is causing this and just real quick we did have a uh, magnitude 6.2 off the coast of uh, Vancouver Island off the northwestern coast of Vancouver Island and I'll show you that in just a bit a few quakes on the Blanco fracture zone few quakes in Hawaii as well. Let's go to California, shall we? Where California just saw magnitude 6.4. Not off the coast. In the coast. I mean, far from the coast. Inland. Notice the linear progression of these earthquakes. Do you notice that? Yeah. Um, in my opinion, this is volcanic. You want to know why? And look at all these magnitudes, guys. Look at this. Zooming in, I believe there were a few foreshocks. 0 0.5, 1 0.5, then there was a 4.0 at 1702 on July 4th, then a 2.5, going all the way up. These are all four shocks, you notice that? 0 0.5, 1.5, 4.0, 2.5, 0.9, 2.1, 1.9, 0 0.9, 1.4, and then, boom! Magnitude 6.4 at 8.7 kilometers in depth. Let's go to the event page and check this out just real quick. Very large quake striking. Uh, and again, it is glitching out. For some reason, the, uh, it said people felt this, but it's not showing the felt, uh, felt reports. I believe there are just too many people getting on the earthquake website right now. Okay, let's see. We'll refresh it with the, did you, it's still not showing anybody felt it. I don't know why when you go back here and it shows that did you feel report is in the yellow, the high yellow, which means shaking was very strong. Aftershocks of 4.5, 4.0, 3.5, 3.8, 3.8, 4.2, 3.3, 3.6, multiple threes. Very few twos. These are all in the three range. Notice the depths. A lot of these are very shallow. Also notice this is less than 10 kilometers in depth. And you'll notice that, in my opinion, this is volcanic. You want to know why? Here we are at volcanoes.usgs.gov. This is the Coso Volcanic Field, guys. Coso Volcanic Field. Notice, this whole area is the Coso Volcanic Field. I mean, this there's volcanic activity everywhere in this location. The crust is very thin, allowing magma to surface every now and then. Here's the magnitude 6.4 that just occurred at about 5.4 miles in depth. Look at all those. Look at all those. 3, 4, 4, 3, 3, 4. Look at that. Right on the edge. And it some, somewhat looks like a linear formation. Do you, don't you notice that? Let's click false, shall we? And the, the earthquake webpage keeps glitching. It keeps glitching a lot because there is a lot, a lot of people getting on here right now. And the fault that they say it occurred on is the Little Lake Fault Zone, which in my opinion is much too small to cause a magnitude 6.4, at least in my opinion. And they have the Garlock Fault Zone, which is pretty large right here, but it did not occur on that fault. It occurred on these smaller faults in this area. Again, Coastal Volcanic Field. Past month of seismicity, we see seismicity ongoing up here. Active geothermal pumping operations are in this area. They do generate power for a lot of homes. Again, magnitude 6.4, a lot of earthquakes. A lot of magnitude 4s and magnitude 3s as well. Now, remember when it showed the Did You Feel report is yellow? It's not showing it anymore. It keeps glitching. Oh, my goodness. We're going to try this one more time and see if the event page... And look, undefined. Oh, there we go. But it's still not showing any Did You Feel reports, but we know that's not true because even people in Los Angeles, which is... Um, Los Angeles is about 113 miles to the south-southwest. A lot of people reported feeling this earthquake, guys. A lot of them. According to USGS, the magnitude 6.4 uh, took about 2.9 seconds, very quick, to arrive on Borehole 921 in the PB network. We're going to take a look at that now, which is the closest seismic station to this event. Very, very interesting, guys. Let's take a look at it in the seismic program swarm. Oh my god, guys. This is the closest seismic station to the magnitude 6.4 and the many other earthquakes that are taking Oh. Uh, whoa. 
Let's go to the spectrogram. We've got a low frequency event. That looks like it's a low frequency, but I don't want to look at that right this second. Here's the magnitude 6.4. Yeah. Extremely, extremely strong, guys. Very, 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 very strong earthquake. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a very quick, let's do 0 0.5 hertz high pass filter. Just in case if there's any background micro I just want to get rid of. Look at that. Do you see how it's emergent like this? That is very, very strange how emergent this earthquake is. In my opinion, the fact that this struck on the southern edge of the coastal volcanic field in California and the depth is less than 10 kilometers for this one earthquake, in my opinion, oh, and the fact that it's emergent like this does show this could be volcanic in nature, guys. This might not just be tectonic. Of course, when, uh, when magma comes up through the crust, it causes tectonic activity, obviously. When faults, when something swells quickly, faults are going to crack and pop, right? Well, I think that is what's causing this. Yes. Please do not call me crazy, because I already think I am crazy. <laughs> but uh, since the spectrogram is showing some very strong power, I'm just going to do this so it dials down the power a little bit so we can see. Look at that. Very, very strong low frequencies. This is the magnitude 6.4 again. Now, I want you to notice something. Notice prior to this, there were a few uh, um, four shocks. Definitely a few four shocks preceding this earthquake, right? We had a few earthquakes here, a few earthquakes there. Some occurring in rapid succession, actually. So, yes, we did see some four shocks leading up to this. And then, boom, right there, we see the magnitude 6.4, which was felt over 113 miles away. But notice something. Notice how it's blue, which means weak, which means there's basically nothing occurring there at all, right? All throughout this day, basically blue, basically blue. Check this out. Right when the earthquake occurs, look at the background. Now, you can see, obviously, you can see aftershocks here, right? Obviously, you can see aftershocks, but look at the background activity. Look at the background noise. And let me make it a little bit stronger for you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Look at that background activity, extremely high frequencies for the amount of background activity that's occurring. Obviously, it is not surface noise that is taking part of this because it started right when the 6.4 occurred. See, before it was blue, 6.4 occurred, multiple aftershocks, but something else is occurring in the background that is not an earthquake. Look at that. Now let's go forward and try to go to a place where there's no earthquakes. This is volcanic. Guys, I am, uh, but the frequencies are too high to be volcanic tremor unless something is like right at the surface. I don't know. I don't know, but there is definitely some type of tremor occurring. Let's go to the most recent data. Notice how it's light blue now. So it looks like it's getting a little bit weaker. Let's go right here though. Look at that. Prior to this, it was nothing. Basically nothing was occurring at all. Basically no activity like about 12 hours or so beforehand. But now we're seeing some type of background tremor occurring up to 1500 amplitude count. There is tremor that is occurring in conjunction with this event. 100% for sure, guys. I mean, you just saw it. Again, blue, basically nothing at all. Then the magnitude 6.4. Then all of a sudden, the earthquakes and the aftershocks occurring in rapid succession with some type of background. Oh, whoops, sorry. I went up there. My bad. Back down with some type of background activity occurring amongst all of these earthquakes. What is going on, guys? This is volcanic in nature, in my humble opinion. I highly believe it. Let's see if we could see some of those low-frequency events. There's some dominant low frequencies for this earthquake right here. Look at that. Wow, look at that, guys. We do have some dominant lower frequencies in a lot of these earthquakes. Now, notice the difference. Dominant lower frequencies, higher frequencies. Notice right here, which means that, yeah, something could be occurring down near the coastal volcanic field. And again, it's very interesting to look at this one right here. Notice we have a high frequency earthquake and an earthquake with some dominant lower frequencies right here. In my opinion, looks like a low frequency earthquake, but the frequencies go up a little bit too high to be considered a low frequency earthquake, at least in my opinion. But keep, keep on going forward. Keep on going forward. We see another earthquake right here. Very strong. Very, very strong aftershocks still are occurring as part of this. Multiple earthquakes. Notice that. Some lower frequencies again than what I would expect. In my opinion, this is definitely volcanic in nature. Look at that. Wow, guys. Wow. 
And here's the most recent data as of about 11.25 a.m. Pacific Time, July 4th, 2019. Again, happy 4th of July, guys. Apparently, the Earth is telling us happy 4th as well. A lot of these earthquakes are very strange looking. Very, very odd. Especially the magnitude 6.4, which looks emergent. Do you notice that? Look at how emergent that is. That is very, very, very strange. And we did have some force shocks leading up to this event as well. So, guys, look at this. Look at that. Woo-wee! Very strong earthquakes occurring right now in California. There seems to be an uptick in volcanic activity worldwide. This occurred on the southern edge of the coastal volcanic field. Yeah. Do you think this is connected to volcanic activity? I do. I definitely, definitely do, according to the depths and the location and some of the waveforms of these events. But I could be wrong. You know, I've been wrong before, and I'm willing to admit it. But right now, it does look like this could be caused by volcanic activity. Don't know for sure, but let's look at something else just real quick. Okay, they finally updated the event page. Still a 6.4 at 8.7 kilometers in depth with many aftershocks of magnitude 4s and magnitude 3s. 237 people reported feeling it to the USGS. Likely a lot more people did feel it in Los Angeles. A lot of people felt it as well. Uh, let's go down here. Looks like there's an, an earthquake occurring far to the north. Magnitude 3.1 and 2.5 kilometers in depth. Let's see how many aftershocks and events they are reporting. Look at that. 46 earthquakes. 47 earthquakes, actually, they are reporting for this area. But we saw many, many more earthquakes occurred as part of this as well. If anything changes, if any volcanic activity starts to occur down here, or if anything changes at all, I will put out another update. Just in the past hour, actually, there was a magnitude 1.9 at 24.9 kilometers in depth. Yesterday, there was a 2.7 to 5 kilometers in depth, both on Vancouver Island and also... Also, there's a magnitude 6.2 at, at supposedly 10 kilometers in depth to the northwest of Vancouver Island. So events really are picking up lately, guys. It, it just seems like activity was calm for a long time a few months ago, right? Then all of a sudden, boom, everything just started to shake. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Okay, um, don't forget to go see my most recent video if you want to see the uh, partial summit collapse of Stromboli Volcano in Italy. Um, it showed a large, large lava. Oh, and they're reporting another earthquake, a 4.1 at 1.5 kilometers in depth in the same location down near the Coso Volcanic Field. Yes, again, it occurred at a volcanic field, right on the outskirts, though, right on the outskirts. Um, but yeah, go see my most recent video if you want to see the lava bubble that formed outside of the summit. I mean, it's just this huge bubble of lava that just explodes. It's pretty crazy. So go check out my most recent video if you want. Please stay safe, guys. If anything else changes or if anything else occurs, I will let you guys know very quickly. God bless, and keep your eye on California and Washington State. Activity could be picking up. God bless, guys, and have a great day.